50 years ago, I started with a calf named Tony in 4-H, and from there we've grown today to a feedlot that we're permitted for 5,200. So through the years, we, we've grown, uh, we've doubled about every time that we've expanded. In Iowa, we get about 40 inches of rain a year, and so that's a very uh, environmentally friendly thing on the crop side, but on the cattle side, when you have black dirt that's six feet deep, the cattle go clear to their belly. So we've experimented with the monoslope buildings, uh, the deep bedded barns. In the growing season, we clean around the outside of each pen twice a week, and then we also add bedding twice a week. So there's always a dry place for the cattle to lay. Uh, the other thing with the monoslope building is the way the sun is. In the summertime, the cattle are completely shaded, and in the wintertime, the sun goes clear to the back. So we're trying to use that natural uh, light and natural heat and temperature in the barns to actually um, give the cattle a great environment. It's getting more challenging uh, every year to find employees that have the dedication and the work ethic that, that we're all looking for here. And when I look at the two young people here today, that doesn't come easy. And I want to make sure that they attend all those special classes. I want to make sure that they're certified in BQA. I've been very, very pleased and very, very impressed with the adoption rate of BQA practices here. It doesn't just happen when I'm here. It's just part of the way that, that Bill and, and his crew do things out here at Kowser Cattle Company on a daily basis. We work very closely with Iowa State University here to make sure that Dr. Terry can bring those kids out, to make sure that when they graduate, they have that, that well-rounded education. Bill has a classroom up above uh, the feed mill. It's uh, just a great facility to have and, and to utilize. When we put the learning center in, we really had no idea it would become what it has become today with the amount of people from not just across the country but from around the world that have come through and seen how we've implemented uh, BQA in our operation. It, it, it's really been a, a, a rewarding relationship for Iowa State and for the College of Veterinary Medicine especially to be able to, to work with Bill and Nancy and the crew out here and utilize the cattle and the facilities to uh, really teach BQA methodology as, as, as well as standards of care.